how to set up and use a Micron 5 data locker. Coming at you. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up and use the basics of your Micron 5 data logger system. Just take this opportunity to have a shout out to all our fans and subscribers out there. Thank you very much. Also to our Patreon subscribers and Denim from Brisbane. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the Micron 5 data logger is what we use and recommend here at Power Public. We recommend it to all our clients. It's an excellent data logger. There are other ones out there that have their features as well, but I just find this one is the most simple to use, and that's why we use and recommend it to our clients. So once you got your Micron mounted onto your go-kart, switch it on, and it's just searching for a track now. So the GPS is set automatically, and it'll search for the closest track. Over here, you've got your menu button, and the first option is your backlight. You can change the colors here by pressing the change button. I like the cyan, I'm, I can see that the best when I'm on the track. And then if you press the next button, over here it's only got two options, but if you press next or previous, previous or next, it does the same thing. And then you can change it, night vision on, night vision auto, or night vision off. I leave it night vision on so I can see it during the day as well. And then you press your exit button. Now we're back to the home screen or the first menu page and you want to go to the, the next icon which is your system settings. If you go into here, we've got units of measure so you can change all your miles per hour for the Americans, kilometers per hour for uh, us Aussies and uh, the British. Uh, you've got Celsius and Fahrenheit but we're not going to change any of that so we're just going to press exit. Uh, if we go to the next Drive setup, we're using a clutch because we've got a Rotax or a Galaxy on this one. But if you had a shifter cart, you could change that by going to a gearbox and you can select your gears, direct drive, clutch drive, gearbox. So we're going with the clutch. Okay, so we're going to exit. And then we're going to go to the next menu, which is your RPM setup. Press enter here. Now we've got a 16,000 RPM max limit set here now the galaxy can go higher than that so we're going to change that so we're going to go to enter and then we can scale it up or down in a thousand rpm increments we're just going to put that up to 17,000. Uh, you can change your frequency and the rpm factor but leave those as they are so you exit that and run to the next one and that's our lap time setup if we go into there, we're on automatic. If you want, you can change that to a manual, GPS, and it's got some other stuff there. I don't mess around with any of that. I just leave it on automatic. You can change your lap time display. So it's gonna stay up for 30 seconds, but if you want it on just for five seconds and it goes back to your, your normal display, you can do that. So it has a lot of functions and customization. Next up, this is a good one, is your LED setup. You can set these LED bars up. So we've got RPM, shift lights. So I've got them set up for the uh, KZ. I wanna know when I'm hitting 12,000 so I'm ready to pluck another gear. You might have them set up on a Rotax around 12,000 when the power valve or the electronic ignition is gonna spike. Or you might have it in your mini rock engine for peak RPMs. Any of those things, you can just customize all those by going to the next, 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 and then you can press enter and you can change all that there. So there's a lot of features on the Micron 5 and it is very customizable, if that is a word. But you can customize all the, the little features to your own likings if you like. But what I'm gonna show you today is some of the basics you're gonna to need to do to get your Micron working so you can get some information out of it straight away. Go into your system settings. Go across to the d display setup. and We want to customize the display. You can see here, I've got this one disabled, which is RPM and lap time. You can change it there, yes, and it's got this little bit of information. But turn that off. Go back to next, change, 
make sure this one is switched to off position and then here custom one and I say yes and if you go over to here to the configure button which is your menu button as well but on the screen it says configure we're going to press enter and it brings up uh, a screen like this and here we've got exhaust temperature RPMs none and none and I'm just going to select those other two things press the select button now exhaust gas temperature can stay but I like to have my speed there so I'm going to set GPS speed if I go to next it's going to come over here now I want to leave my engine RPMs yep that's perfectly fine and then over here I'm going to select another one so I want to select uh, internal battery so I want to know what my battery voltage is and then over here I'm going to select uh, our predictive lap time right -o. you can also set up here if you've got a lambda sensor you can set up your lambda value so it reads while you're out on the circuit so you can look at your dash and see how your engines tuned on the fly and um, also to another good one is your water temperature or your cylinder head temperature depending if you have either of those on your engine. Okay, in your general settings, you wanna make sure that you've got your GPS switched on. Go into general settings, and make sure your GPS is switched on. You can change it just here. Press the exit button and you're good to go. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to switch on the Wi-Fi connection. So from the home page, press the menu button, scroll across until you get to the Wi-Fi press the enter okay so when you've got your Wi-Fi mode set to auto you can see here there's an S SID and that's the number you're going to look for on your computer so the computer will talk to the micron and download the information to it you can switch it to off if you want to save your batteries otherwise just leave it on auto now if you like me and you use your micron heaps and you forget to download it all the time and delete the information it fills up so if you ever need to clear it just go over to here and you press OK and clear all your memory and it will wipe all the information off the head unit. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the track management. Okay, so go into the menu again and you want to go over to this icon over here which is your track management. And here you can see it says automatic. So you can change it and you can put the manual and you can list all your tracks and select them if you like. But I just leave it in automatic and the GPS picks up where it is and loads all the information for the circuit that I'm at. So now that you've got your Micron set up, I'm going to show you how to review your lap time information. So you've just come in from your session and you want to review your lap times. You're going to press this button here. This is the most simple way to get any information out of your micro. So just press the memory button and it comes up with all your sessions and the dates. And you can scroll up and down if you want to go back and back and back. You can see we've been to Ipswich quite a lot here. But we'll just do it on the, the last session. And we did eight laps for three minutes and there was a 49.9 second lap. Okay, I remember that session. So you want to see it, so you press the enter button and it brings up your three best lap times, which was like four, five and six. Okay, the driver was pretty consistent there, or a little bit, but anyway, there's only one session. And you can see here we've got engine RPMs, minimum and maximums. We've got our speeds here, minimums and maximums. And it's got a maximum speed and you can have maximum water temperature. If you press the page button, it goes to a, a new page here and you've got split times, best rolling lap and best theoretical lap. So the best um, theoretical lap that's picked sectors, sector from lap four, sector three, and the two sectors first and second for lap five to give us a theoretical lap time of a 49.88, which is the same as our rolling lap. Sometimes these can change. The idea is to try to get your um, theoretical, rolling, and actual lap times all identical or pretty close to it. And that's generally a good indication that you're pretty consistent in the cart set for good lap times over a long distance. If you press page again, it goes to a bar graph. You can see here the cart came down, did its fastest lap, and then went off and the driver came in. It was a bit of a short session. And here you've got on lap five was his best, the three lap sector times, the lap time, RPMs and kilometers per hour. And then this is the last page. You can actually scroll through at 0.1 of a second increments here and you can see the, the bar here goes along and this is your engine RPMs. There's a track map, your RPM and your kilometers per hour. If you need to change sessions, press the test button, press it again and you'll go back to this page 
and you can go and select a, a different day. And we've got a few different sessions. So we just select uh, 5269. I'm not sure what that was, but anyway, kilometers per hour, RPMs, and you can just scroll through your, your pages again. When you finish all that, press your test button a few times, press the exit, you're back to your home screen, and then you can power the system off. So there you have it, that's the basics on how to use your Micron 5. Stay tuned over the coming weeks where we're gonna show you how to download the information from your Micron unit to your laptop and start doing some hardcore analysis. Thanks for everybody that's watching. Please turn on your notifications, share the video with your friends, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, subscribe to our Patreon channel, smash the like button, and generally go out there and be awesome. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.